Today we're going to be talking about how to transfer ownership of your Google Drive files to a personal account. Now if you have a Google account for your school or your organization or whatever, you can't just go into the share button and change the ownership like you can from a personal account. Like I can change uh, a document ownership from me to my wife very easily. But with managed accounts you can't do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder. Again, I'm in Google Drive here. Uh, there we go, new folder. And I'm going to name it something that I can remember so it's really easy to find when I'm transferring stuff. So I'm just going to call this one Important Files. There we go, nice. And there it is. And when I open this guy up, it should be empty. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to come back to my drive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some files and I've got some just empty documents here, uh, document one. So to give it in, to get it, you can just click and drag it over there. I'm going to do the same thing with document two as well. Just drag it on over. Um, or if you right click on a file, let's say you have lots and lots of files. Um, you can right click or on a trackpad, two finger tap, and you get an option to move to. So I got it highlighted there on the screen and I'm going to click move to. And then what happens, you're going to get this tiny little box and you can pick the folder right there and just click move to. And there you go. And again, you can, if you know how to select multiple files, you can do this all at once too. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come open up this folder to make sure my four documents are there and there they are. Fantastic. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my drive and I'm going to select the folder and I'm going to click on the share button right up there and I am going to type in the new email address to my personal account. Now I've blacked out uh, information from this account because it's with my school and I just want to protect them. Um, so there it is, itbabble01 at gmail.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it. And it's going to say, hey, you're sharing outside of the organization. That's totally fine. Just click share anyway. And it'll take a second and it'll share. Now, depending on how many files you have, this could take a couple minutes. So just be patient. So what we're going to do now is we are going to switch over and here I am into my uh, personal account with itbabble01 and as you can see in my Google Drive there's nothing here because I'm the owner of no documents. To find those documents I click on the shared with me on the left hand side and there's the folder. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I want to open up this folder and there are the documents. Now these are shared with me. I'm not the owner yet. In fact, I can't ever become the owner. Uh, I like the list view there, so I'm going to switch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the files by holding the shift key and just clicking. And now I'm going to do the two finger or right click if you have a mouse. And I'm going to select make a copy. Now it's going to make an exact copy of those files. And But when I make a copy, that copy, uh, now I'm the owner and it's not shared to anybody. And it takes, it could take a little bit of time here, uh, but there they are. Now let's, and it'll say copy of, so you can know it. You can rename them easily. So I'm going to click document one. I'm going to hit the view details button. And this will show me that this one um, was, is the owner is a testing student. Now if I click the copy of document one, now check this out. The owner is me. So there it is. That's how you do it.